All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a Half-Life map into a map that you can edit your, on your own and play around with. This is good for learning how maps work and things like that. Or if you just want to grab a map from a Source game, from like a Half-Life 2, and like port it over to CSGO 2 if you wanted to. Uh, that was a lot of twos. <laughs> well, anyways, let's get straight into the video. First, you want to go ahead and install Java, because the program that we're going to be using to convert a BSP, which is a playable map file, to a VMF, which is a uh, basically what Hammer uses to edit it, and then the VMF is compiled into a BSP, which is a play map, playable map file. First, we're going to go ahead and install Java, though. So just give me a minute here. Hopefully this link works, yep. So this will be in the description. Uh, hopefully it says download Java right here. You wanna click that. I need to update Java anyway, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hit download Java. Give it a second. This will pop up. Uh, just go ahead and hit save. And then open up your downloads folder. And then you wanna just double click on this to G to JR to JRE. Uh, you probably don't see this, but if uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, make sure just to click yes. And hopefully, yep, there you go. Open Java, blah, blah, blah. Just go ahead and hit install. And just go ahead and let that install. This shouldn't take too long. All right, and once it's done, or once it's done, it should close and then reopen, or like by itself, it should close and reopen. And this should be uh, here. You have successfully installed Java. And you just want to hit close. And you can delete this exe. Or not. Maybe delete it later. Now we can go ahead. Uh, this will be in the link description below, by the way, to download Java. But now we want to go, go ahead and get BSP source. BSP source is a uh, pretty much the program that we're going to be using to. Uh, uh, turn BSP files into VMF. So basically, you just want to go ahead and. So th this should be what pops up for you. This will also be in the description. You can click the link. You want to hit BSP source, uh, and then whatever version it says right here. Right now, for me, it's 1.4.1. Just want to go ahead and click the zip, and then it should start downloading. And once it's uh, done installing, you. I think we could delete that now. You're going to extract this wherever. I'm just going to extract it here. Because I have it pretty empty. Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind. Let me go ahead and create a folder called uh, BSP SR yeah, SRC. We'll just do that. And we'll throw it in here. Open this one, and then we can extract. You can put this on your desktop if you want to, but I just usually do it in downloads and then move it to my desktop. Now you want to go ahead and open up BSP source. And oh, let me close this stuff. And this should pop up. Uh, you can't resize a window, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so you don't really need to worry about any of these besides maybe, maybe other, because when you get a map off the workshop, uh, most of the time they have custom textures or some type of custom file. Uh, so basically, that's what this is extract in embedded files. Uh, uh, to in actually, I'll, I'll talk about in a whole nother video about embedding files into your map for the workshop. That will be probably in a way later video because that one's kind of advanced. Not really advanced. It's a kind of anyways. But basically, just if it's a custom map off the workshop and it has custom textures, uh, you would want to do this. So basically, if you just have that and get a file, so automatically take all the textures for you and stuff. But I do recommend having it on. But you do want to go to uh, files and go ahead and hit add. And once this pops up, uh, can I size this? Yeah, okay. You, okay. Sorry for all the pauses. But once you have this open up, you want to go ahead and find your uh, uh, folder or your maps folder, wherever it is, uh, to extract a BSP file. Uh, I'm not really explaining this too well. 
So let's go to Steam and say we want to extract a Half-Life 2 map. Uh, somewhere down here. We want to go to Half-Life 2. Manage Browse Local Files. And then once the file is open, you want to go to... Okay, so here we have Episode 2, Episodic, Half-Life 1, Half-Life 1 HT, Half-Life 2. We're doing Half-Life 2, so we'll just do HL2. But if we wanted to do Episode 2 maps, we do Episode 2. Or HL1 maps, which is basically just Half-Life 1, but source version of it. Uh, basically, we want to just do HL2. So we want to go ahead and go to HL2, of course, and then Maps. And this is all the BSP, BSP files. Now, you may not know, like... Uh, what D1 Canals 01 is. So, like, a way to see what map it is is by just uh, going ahead and loading into Half Life 2. And once you're in Half Life 2, you want to go to Options and you want to go to Keyboard and you want to go to Advanced here and make sure if uh, Enable Developer Console is on and hit OK. And now, if you scroll down to what is it? Miscellaneous. It should be developable. Oh, toggle developers console. Mine is the the key under the exit key, which is the squiggly line kind of. But basically, just hit apply or OK, and then hit the button, and then something like this should pop up. And you can also, if you wanted to, change this. If you have a sixty percent keyboard, because I think I don't think sixty percent sixty percent keyboards actually have this, so you could just. Double click it and change it to say P, but I'm going to keep mine as uh, that. And so now in here, we want to put uh, M A P for map, and you want to space, and there'll be all these, all the maps. And then see, uh, say we want to do D1 Town O2A. So we'll come over here, we'll do D1. Uh, underscore town underscore o2 a and it will go ahead and click that and hit submit or enter and this will load us into the map and here's a uh, town I guess uh, this is the map it loads us into but uh, I want to do say instead of uh, Raven home you can just go and uh, if you hit the console button, it'll pause the game for you like that. We want to go to a train station. So we'll go to map underscore D, no, no, map space underscore, no, no, um, map space D1 underscore train station 01. We'll hit enter. And this should just be the start of the game, basically. Yep, basically just the start of the game. We're not going to go through that. But basically, I want to use... Well, actually use two, because uh, that just skips the intro, so we don't have to load up the intro every time, basically. I think it should be... Where we meet... Yeah, this one. And this one's, this one's alright for, for me. So, we're going to do... D1 train station 02.bsp. So, we're going to go ahead and copy this location. Uh, let me actually close Half-Life. And then we're going to go back to this, and we're going to paste it. Uh, or actually, can we paste it? We can't paste it. Uh, well, mm, well, I was thinking we could paste it. Uh, guess not. But that's fine. We can go to this PC. Basically, just find where the file is located. And mine is in this PC, D Drive, Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life 2, HL2, Maps. So this PC, D drive, Steam games, Steam apps, common, and then Half-Life 2, right there, and then HL2, and then maps. And then we want to do D1 trans, trans, yeah, train station 02. Uh, by the way, if you're not seeing G's, don't worry about it. That's a GMod thing. Uh, don't worry about it too much. If you are seeing G's, then honestly, it doesn't really matter if you are or you're not. Uh, you want to 
I go to, we want to do D1 train station O2 dot BSP. I want to go ahead and click OK. Okay, sorry for that pause. Basically hit decompile and uh, this is the VMF right here. We want to put this wherever, you can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to put it in a folder called decompiled HL2 maps. Oh, maps is what I meant. I'm going to click that and click save. Doesn't matter what you call the folder, by the way. And basically now it's just going to decompile the map. Yeah. Proceed to one files in four seconds. So yeah, it's already done. So now we can just kind of just go ahead and close out of all of this. Close out of maps. Uh, and then we can go to uh, well basically you can close out of everything and I'm going to go ahead and close out of the file too I, will, I didn't mean to close out of the, the, the files so basically you can go back into bin and you can go ahead and open up hammer I want to do half-life 2 once this opens we're going to go ahead and open a file and we put it on our desktop and decompiled maps half-life 2 and now it's right here. Go ahead and click that and click open. And go ahead and give it a second to load because it's obviously a big map. And would you look at that? We have a decompiled Half-Life 2 map. Isn't that crazy? So basically, we can go ahead and just come on in here and change the textures to whatever we want. Say we want to say, say we want to say? No. So we want to, uh... I actually don't know what these are, these colorful textures, but when you get close, it does that. I think that's either might only be for me, or it might be for you guys too. I actually don't know what that is. Um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. But basically, if we wanted to, we could make this guy. Or actually, let's go in here and make... Uh, is there a spawn in here? Did not know that. We can actually just delete the spawn over here and just go ahead and just hit that and hit delete. And by the way, if you didn't, if you haven't noticed, it makes a underscore D, by the way, that's for decompile, I believe. Uh, so if you ever compile this, it won't overwrite your default, like uh, actual compiled maps. And then you have, uh, what else can we do here? Let's change. A wall texture so basically just hit this thing over here i think we learned this in the last one and let's change a wall texture to say this is actually right we just hit around click around with the right click so it just kind of just actually i think we can hold it no we can't we have to click and just click around i guess and i think is it not getting over here oh no it is because you have to be a certain distance uh, you know what, let's do some more chaos. Let's add, let's give myself some guns. So let's uh, control C, control V, go ahead and do weapon. Uh, you know what, I'll give myself a revolver here. And look at all that, dude. Um, put it right, uh, let's do this and put it right on top of my stuff. And we'll also give myself a shotgun. So control C, control V, and then what is it called? Weapon underscore shotgun. Thought so. And actually, I'm gonna make sure both of these are inside of my body. So when I spawn them, I get them. Get them. And I'll also probably get myself the HEV suit. This is kind of confusing to see. So HEV, yeah, HEV suit. I could just control V right there, and then suit. Item suit, god dang it. Item suit, and I'm gonna put and then put it right on both the player. There's a lot of stuff here. So now if I go ahead and hit and close save, F9, and we can go either go into expert and go fast, which I'm gonna do. Uh, and by the way, oh, this is compiling. These textures, right? The, these colorful textures, I don't actually know if that's gonna happen for you guys. That might just be for me because I was uh, messing around with textures a while back and this had this glitch came up in game for me. 
the way the reflections were all messed up, so that might just have been me. I probably deleted a file. Uh, I should probably go ahead and verify my files to even check if I deleted anything. Uh, but other than that, hopefully that does pop up for you guys and you guys get an actual normal looking map. And I think my, I think my, uh, hammer is about to crash here, which is not good at all. If this, I guess if it crashes, oh yeah. If it crashes, you should be fine. Just reopen it up and hopefully a safe, hopefully you saved it before you started to run it. That, by the way, make sure you save frequently. Control S. Uh, make sure you save a lot, uh, because sometimes the hammer will just crash randomly on you. Oh, there it goes, actually. But sometimes it'll crash randomly on you when you can lose, like, maybe 10 minutes of progress, which which could lead to, like, a lot of progress. Who knows? Depending on how fast you work and stuff. And we should be getting the map soon. Yep, see? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you see how everything... That, I think that's a, a me thing, actually. I'm not for sure, but basically, uh, textures that we placed on the walls, we spawn with guns and stuff, so basically we can just kill the combine, you pick up that can. I may, I think this actually is, uh, my problem, the, the fog kinda, from me messing up textures. We kill this person, why is it blue when I shoot it, what the heck? That's a weird color. That's cool. I can't shoot the NPCs. Okay. Let's shoot this guy over here. Every one or two weeks, you can just do no clip. And let's go see Breen. Which he should be out over here into a room over here. Yep, there he is. Yep. And he's dead. I killed this entity. So we can come back over here. And look at the, uh... The screen and he is not responding uh but basically if you, this is like a cool thing if you want to do like a a revamp of a, mo a map or like a, a, a fuck what is it called or basically you can make uh like uh remastered maps and stuff of original maps and like have your own oh yeah this is a, i think this is a custom picture of mine by the way that's why it looks like that so this is actually might be my, all my fault why i'm making it look like this and we can actually go in here with no clip so we can see what they do yes they do actually i don't think they actually kill them which they should have actually oh you can actually change that if you wanted to you can make them kill them if you know how to do sequences and stuff like that and uh all the talking over that we're done with that's basically the gist of the compiling maps if you need any if you need any help just comment down below and before you leave don't go just yet i wanted to shout this guy that actually asked me to do this video his name is i'm gonna go ahead and find him real quick on my notifications here we go his name is roblox central poop 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 of that 1000 subs does he actually have 1000 subs that is so loud. Holy cow. He has more subs than me, so you know he's an epic YouTuber. But, uh, yeah, he brought up the idea. He asked me to make a vi this video, so if you get, if this guy's helped you, just like and subscribe. Uh, please. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see ya.